And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. Oh, the things you will see in California. I just love it. And sometimes if you blink, you will miss it. We are right off of Eureka Road at Oto Orchard. It's a persimmon farm, but this place is so much more than just fruit. It is a story of perseverance and family. The roots run deep at Oto Orchard in Granite Bay. Here on the original 20 acres of land bought in 1911 by Japanese immigrant Kichitaro Kawano. Fruit trees, primarily persimmons, would soon blanket these hills. Some of the original trees are still standing and bearing fruit today. Helen Oto, at 102 years old, is the family matriarch and still greets you bearing fruit and carrying on the legacy of this land. When the persimmons are picked, Helen massages every single one for more than a month. Not a day goes by without Helen's touch and tender care. Years, yeah, years. Every year, you know, they come out and we ha I have to massage them. We've done it for a long time and uh, I'm still here, so <laughs> I don't know how long. You work hard. I worked hard before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tosh and Chris Kuratomi are now the third generation growing this fruit. This family specializes in the ancient art of dried persimmons, known as hoshigaki, a time-consuming and painstaking transformation. Each persimmon is hand-peeled, then strung up to dry in the sun. Okay, once they're peeled and hung, uh, tied up and on the racks, They'll be on those sticks for five, six weeks. The daily massaging, called momu, causes the sugar to surface on each drying persimmon. The racks are moved inside when the sugar surfaces to protect the fruit and to dry for a few more weeks. Wow. People keep pouring in and out of here to buy them, and I see why and I taste why. Mm. Everybody, look at the camera and wave by. And we just want to say, Hi. it's great to be at Oto Orchard in Granite Bay. Say bye-bye. Say bye, Helen. Wave. Bye-bye.